Rockford City officials come face to face with concerned community members this evening. Discussions at a public safety town hall heated up a bit when activists voiced their struggles. Mayor Tom McNamara joins Police Chief Carla Red to speak on efforts to reduce crime across town. WIFR's Nathaniel Langley learns what's next for public safety policy. Conversations were tense at tonight's public safety meeting, but by the town hall's end, community collaboration shined through. I was excited, first of all, that they were even, you know, having the space to have this event. Activists know any solution for a safer Rockford won't come from one public safety town hall. There's a lot of work that's being done, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. And the way to get that work done is to do it together. But hope sparked when tonight's meeting turned from a Q&A to the audience sharing advice with one another. So many people are always there to step up and meet it in whatever way that they can, whether that's something small or whether it's something major. Just in time for a summer where domestic violence is expected to increase, impacting kids home from school. As we are getting ready to move into a bigger location, we know we're going to be able to work with even more kids that are coming into that building. The meeting ignited a spirit to serve those affected by the crime, making up half of Rockford's violence. We have got to pour into the adults, the single moms, and anybody else who is trying to take care of a child or children and do their best. Now, the wait is on to put the ideas and passion offered into practice. Our community shows up, they voice their opinions, they give us important feedback, and it really allows our work to become even richer than it is. And I'm just here to help and the community to do whatever I can. To give you a better sense of Jennifer's work, since starting in 2018, her office's Family Peace Center has helped 1,900 families in Rockford. Of that, 400 have been children. Thank you, Nathaniel. And if you didn't get a chance to come out tonight, those from the city expect these town halls to return in the fall. But in the next few weeks, community listening sessions will be available.